Hey guys, what's up? It's iPod Touch Bob, and today I'll be reviewing the Chopper 2 headphones from Ariel 7. As you can see, I have the black edition. These headphones actually retail for $70 on their website, so go ahead and go down in the description below. I'll put a link to their website so you can check out these headphones as well as all their other headphones, such as the Tank headphones, which I reviewed in the past, which are pretty awesome. Um, so without further ado, go ahead and check out their website, and let's go ahead and jump right into this video. Alright, so let's talk about what comes in the packaging of the Ariel 7 Chopper 2 headphones. Um, besides the headphones, you're going to get two other things. You're actually going to get this little adapter, which um, you're going to plug your headphones into, and then that plugs into your computer, headphones, and audio jack, because these have a mic. So that's a Skype adapter, so that you can use Skype with these headphones if you don't have a built-in mic on your desktop. And you're also going to get this nice Ariel 7 uh, sack where you can put your headphones in. It's just a drawstring cloth type sack. It's pretty simple, but it's also nice that they included it. Alright, so on the left side of the headphones, you're going to get your Ariel 7 logo, as well as a nice crocodile print that gives the headphones a nice look and just makes them unique. You're also going to get your adjustable headband to fit your head size, so if you have a large head or a small head, it'll fit you either way. The right side of the headphones are pretty much exactly the same as the left side. They have that nice crocodile print as well as all the logos. Alright, so the cuffs on these headphones are pretty nice. Uh, they're made of leather with holes on them so that they can breathe. It's a little firm, yet a little soft. It's, it just feels nice on your head. And then underneath, you're going to get that film that filters the audio through. Um, it's the same on both headphones. Um, one thing that you need to consider, though, is that these are leather, so that I found that they did make my head sweat after a little while because uh, they're not cloth, so they don't breathe as well. So that's one thing to, to consider when you're purchasing these headphones. The band of these headphones is pretty nice. It has the same crocodile-type feel as the sides of the headphone so it's got that really nice look and the top has no padding but on the bottom it's got the same padding as that's on the ear cups so it is pretty nice and it does provide some padding so your head is not just touching plastic so the wire on these headphones is actually attached to the headphones so there is no removing it like the tank headphones that the Ariel 7 sells um, but the wire is pretty long it actually feels really high quality it's not too thick so that it's annoying you but it's not too thin either and then it comes down to a 3.5 millimeter gold plated headphone jack these headphones wire do also include an inline mic. Um, this mic is good for answering phone calls on your iPhone or whatever and taking Skype calls basically that's what I can see it to be used for. Also voice memos I guess. But the mic is pretty nice actually. Uh, the sound quality is okay. I mean it's not like the best but it's good for just like taking calls. It's similar to the iPhone um, you know, speaker that you would you normally do it without these. But uh, this also has a button where you can answer calls and pause and play music so you can stop music by pressing the button as well as take phone calls. One problem I did find with these headphones was the fact that sometimes the adjustable headband was a little hard to actually adjust. Um, you couldn't actually push on the cup sometimes. You'd actually have to like stick your finger on the metal itself and then push the cup. But it depended on the time. Sometimes they would move easily, sometimes they wouldn't. So it was a little inconsistent. But uh, I found that it was at times hard to actually adjust the headphones. Alright, so overall I can definitely recommend these headphones to anyone who's looking for some new headphones. Um, they're actually, they provide good sound quality and they have a nice look with that retro style look with the uh, headphone band that comes down long and the squarish ear cups or whatever. So they actually look pretty good and I can definitely recommend them to you. Um, I did find that they did hurt my head just a tiny bit when I wore them for like over an hour. I found that they kind of pushed down on my head and hurt a little bit, but not too much. They were actually bearable and as I wore, wore them more and more, I got used to them and I found that they weren't as bad. So overall, I definitely recommend these headphones to anyone and you can check them out by going to Aerial7.com. I'll include a link down below so you can check out their website they have a bunch of other headphones such as the tank headphones which i reviewed in the past which i really loved but anyways uh thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did i hope that you'll leave a thumbs up down below because it shows me that you care about the video and also i hope that you leave a comment just about your comments on the video or what a comments about these headphones or whatever you want to put i hope that you'll leave one of those um also if you're new to my videos then please consider subscribing because i upload videos um product reviews every week so you'll be updated when i upload those so anyways thanks for watching guys that's all i got in this review and i'll catch you in my next one see ya